Hey, this is Nate with Pro Services at Firewalls.com, and I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to set up a new DHCP server on Sonic OS X 7. So to start out with, we will select the Network tab from the top panel, and on the left panel, we will look for DHCP server under System. On this page, we see we have three tabs to choose from, server settings, lease scopes, and leases. Under server settings, we want to make sure that DHCP4 server is enabled. And you can see that next to it, it does give the option to do advanced settings. We won't do anything here, but there's certainly some use case for this. Under the lease scopes, we see that we have the ability to add a dynamic network range and or a static address. The current DHCP leases uh, will show you what addresses are already leased out, which comes in handy when you're looking for what clients already have addresses. So to start with, let's do a basic network configuration We'll add a dynamic and real quick before I actually configure this we can see at the bottom it says interface pre-populate we can enable this and choose an interface that we've already configured and it will pre-populate all these addresses based on the subnet mask that was configured on the interface So if you do not have an interface already set up, you can easily create a new range from scratch. Um, as you can see that you want to leave the first address out of the range for the interface. DNS and Windows settings will leave uh, as inherent DNS settings from the firewall. And there's Nothing really we need to manage in advance because we're doing a basic setup here. So we will click OK and we'll see that the range is set here and it is on an X interface 5. X5. You can see that the current leases remains the same. The current DHCP lease tab is a good place to keep track of IP addresses and devices. As you can see host names, this is also a good place to troubleshoot. If devices don't seem to be connecting, you can rule out that it is an IP addressing issue. Make sure to like and subscribe for more tutorials from firewalls.com.